turnovers and stuff uh, even after all you guys put it in the offseason? Uh, it's brutal. It's obviously not the outcome we wanted. We're going to learn from our mistakes. A lot of it was on us holding ourselves back, so we're just going to control what we can control and ultimately come back. I 100% believe in the scheme, the coaches, the players. We're going to come back, and it's going to be a different game than it was tonight, and it's going to be successful. And I'm excited for it. We're going to learn and just come back and be better next week. I know that you guys have a lot of belief in Hank, uh, but before you're starting to have, have that kind of start, I mean, is, it has to be hard not to have for that to not be at least a little shocking, I would assume. Yeah, I mean, we're not all perfect, but uh, I still believe in him. He's my guy. I know how hard he prepares. I know how hard he trains and works um, behind the scenes that a lot of people don't see. And uh, not every game is going to be perfect, and not every game is going to be uh, the way that everybody wants it to. But Taylor came in, did, p played good. But uh, whoever's going, they're, they're the guy. And I have 100% trust in both of those guys, and I'm excited to see what we do next week. What did you see out of Taylor out there? Uh, he stepped up. He, was, he played good. Uh, he was just going out and having fun. That's why I kept telling him, just have fun. I mean, there's a lot of pressure on the field. Uh, we've been playing this game our whole life. Just go out, have fun. And uh, he was doing that. He, he stepped up. He did a great job. And um, we're going to keep it going. How surprising was it when you know, the second quarter when they made the switch? I mean, I don't know how much uh, I really thought about it. I was like, whoever's back there, we're going to get the job done. We're going to do whatever it takes. We're going to uh, star in our role during our 111th and uh, just kind of handle our own business. Whoever's back there, we're going to make plays. So uh, not really too focused on it. but. Just looking forward to seeing what's coming next week. What was your angle on uh, the 74 yard touchdown run? And, and how many times have you seen him do stuff like that? What was it like to see him do it you know, when the lights were on? Oh, yeah. He's, he like, he's another guy. He's a hard worker. I've seen him do it a bunch in practice. Uh, my angle was on the other side of the field, and I was like, I'm not even going to try to chase down a block because nobody's catching him. Uh, but no, he's an insane athlete, and it was good to see it on the field. I know how hard he's been working. What was the iron like when you guys did pull it within 10 there early in the fourth quarter? I mean, we were just pushing. Uh, the whole game, we were not putting our heads down. We were not going to quit. We were just rallying. And uh, it was tough in the beginning and uh, too little too late. But uh, as Broncos, we don't, we don't quit. We don't lay down. No matter what the score is, what the situation is, we're going to keep pushing. All the guys were rallying around each other. And uh, like I said, not the outcome we wanted, but we're going to continue to work hard. and and try to put up points. Regardless of even the, the quarterback, why do you think the offense struggled so much in the first half? Uh, it's just stuff we can control. Uh, there are turnovers, uh, some communication stuff that all of us can work on. And um, we're going to perfect it. That offense, I'm telling you, it's, it's explosive. And I know it didn't show it tonight, but uh, it's, it's going to be great. And it's stuff that we can control. We're going to get back in the lab. We're going to look it over. We have a short week, and we're going to come out great. And I'm telling you, it's, it's going to be a successful offense. Maybe, maybe tonight or last year, it sounds like in terms of the vertical passing game, it, it doesn't always connect. And, I, and I'm kind of going off what you said right there, but I guess why? Uh, I guess that's the answer for the coaches. Um, I know all the players work hard. Uh, we work off the field with each other. We do everything we can do. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. Um, but like I said, we're going to keep pushing. We're going to correct what we did wrong out there. And no matter what, like, as Broncos, we're going to we're going to do our best and we're going to keep pushing. And I, it's going to be good. It's going to come together. It's just focusing on what we can tr control. Right, I remember back the first time we talked to you at Paul Camp, you talked so much about player accountability. Mm -hmm. how, did, how does that play into responding to tonight? Oh, yeah. It's offense to defense. Um, as the leaders on this team, we have a lot of old guys. And we built those relationships uh, this whole summer, this whole spring. Um, and we're just pushing each other. Like I said, we were rallying around whoever was in. We're holding each other accountable. Uh, it's just going to continue to grow through the season. But a big thing is, yeah, player to player. And um, JL's in the locker room talking. I'm in the locker room talking. A lot of guys, we're just we're taking it on ourselves to try to be great and push each other and, and just try to let it show on the field no matter what the situation is. We obviously saw what he can do with his legs. What kind of dynamic does Taylor have in the offense when he has that uh, running game? Yeah, he's fast. Uh, he's a great guy. He's, he's a good, um, good passer. Uh, he's a lot of athleticism, and um, it's going to be fun to see what he can do and uh, just keep rolling with uh, whoever's back there. I don't know what it's going to be like next week, but uh, 
he's a good player and a, and a great guy. So it was fun to see him um, kind of be successful tonight. Obviously, you know, you know how good of friends you and Hank are. Mm -hmm. He was like kind of it was incredible, like how positive he still was on the sideline. Mm -hmm. You know, he grabbed the headset and he was doing his job. I mean, how impressed were you just as a friend of, of seeing? Yeah, him? no, Hank's a, Hank's a great guy, and he's one of the leaders on the team. Um, and when something doesn't go his way like that, it's not the best situation for a QB, but uh, we're all in. And like I said, the accountability piece, we're all just trying to do what we can to win games. And uh, if that's him being on the headset in that situation, he's going to take it upon himself to be the best in that role and help coach Teddy Lynn and do whatever he can from that situation. And that's just the type of guy he is. Uh, so I'm proud of him for doing that. He stepped up. And even though he wasn't in the game, he was a good leader on the sideline. To, to see that happen to Austin Bolt, how hard was that to see? It's brutal. Um, I didn't really see the whole play. But uh, great kid. And he's been working so hard, so hard. Um, I don't know what the situation is or what really happened or the outcome of it. but. Uh, it's tough because he's a great kid and he's been working really hard. So hopefully we can get him back quick, praying for him. I know Ash did have one mistake tonight, but what did you see out of him as a true freshman? It definitely seems like he's going to uh, have a role in this offense. Yeah, I was proud of him. Um, mistakes are going to come, especially from a true freshman. But he bounced back, and that's something we always talk about. Uh, games are never going to be perfect. It's about a perfect response. And um, from a young guy like that, that's tough to do. Uh, it's hard to flush it and move on. And I was really proud of him for doing that because that's, that's something that takes guts. And uh, he's an explosive guy, so he's going to be a good asset throughout the season. You guys good? Thanks, Riley. Thanks, guys.